Do you want to know how you can use baby icons in FIFA 21 career mode for free? Well, keep watching this video as I'll show you how in a few simple steps. Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video. And yes, this is the one. This is the baby icon squad file for FIFA 21. Totally free, super easy to install. And I'm going to show you how you can do all that today. So if you don't know what the baby icon squad file is, it's a squad file that adds all the baby icons to FIFA 21. Uh, they're all 16 years of age and there's uh, like something like a hundred of them, maybe even more. And this does include David Beckham. Super easy to install. The only caveat is that you do have to be on PC. Sadly, it doesn't work on Xbox or PlayStation or the Switch, even if you're using one of the next gen consoles. But how you want to do this is you want to go to fightformods.com slash mod slash baby uh, dash icons. Link is in the description and on the i card in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now it may ask you to disable your ad block uh, and if, if it does just make sure you do that um, because uh, ad revenue from the website is a big part of how I fund stuff like this. If you don't know how, there are tutorials on Google. So as you can see here, we can see, you know, the thumbnail of video. We can, you know, see some pretty cool stuff. If you want to see some details, if you want to support me on Patreon, whatever, whatever, I'll get into that a bit later. But just click on the download button right here. It'll bring you to this uh, link. And you just want to click the download button right here. It's just uh, a, bit, a bit over six megabytes, so should not take a, a, a long to download at all. If you want to create a mega account or uh, sign up for file hosting or whatever, you can also do that here. So now that we've downloaded the file, I'm just going to quickly go over how you can install it in-game. Before we get into that, I just want to quickly give a huge shout out to Exter, a revolutionary wallet brand. They were kind enough to send over one of their highly advanced wallets to try out, and I love it. They make many products, but their most popular is the Parliament Wallet, which is like the wallet of the future. You can access all your cards with a simple push of the trigger, which allows for simple storage and time saving. There are also two pockets on the other side, and a strap for other cards, cash, or probably my favorite part, the tracker. With the wallet, you can get a tracker, which is solar powered, and three hours of solar charge will last an astonishing two months. It fits perfectly into one of those pockets and all you have to do is download an app on your phone and you can track it worldwide even if it's out of range with their global lost and found network. It's also voice activated and my favorite part it works both ways. You can ring the tracker with your phone but you can also ring your phone with the tracker by double clicking on the button. The wallet is made out of premium leather and feels really high quality plus it's much cheaper than the alternatives. But that's not all. They also make other styles of wallets in many different colors. They also have a more premium option and have a recycled collection if you want to help the environment. They also do iPhone cases and other accessories like cash clips and key trackers. The best part is that they are currently running a sale up to 35% off site wide with a free gift bag. If you think this is a perfect Christmas gift for you or a loved one, click the link in the top of the description or the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen to get a 5% discount and to massively support the channel. Thank you to Extra once again. So now after downloading it, obviously the next thing we need to do is install it. Now, basically the installation is actually very simple. The first thing you need to put the, uh, the squad file in your settings folder. And this is al almost always located on your documents folder of your C drive. Even if you've installed FIFA on another drive like your D or E drive, uh, the folder is almost always in documents on your C drive. Then go to FIFA 21. There should be a FIFA 21 folder in your documents folder and then it should look like this go settings and then you should see all this stuff then you just want to drag it in or you can copy paste or do whatever but dragging it in is just the easiest and then it should go right to the top just be like that and now you have uh now you have the squad file there next thing you want to do is just launch up fifa get to the main menu so let's quickly do that so now once fifa tw uh, 21 is on the main menu you want to go to the customize panel and then you want to go profile load squads and then you should see one called baby icons real overall pfeiffer now i've also made a separate tutorial on how you can in install a squad file it goes a bit more in depth if you uh, if you're having some issues so that has also been linked in the description or on the i card on the right corner of the screen once you've loaded that uh you, we can go edit teams club transfers and then we just want to go to free agents and you'll see all the icons, their mini faces, their stats, obviously baby icons. It says 17 here, but that's because it uses the date in the new year. If you start a career, it will be 16. Now you can obviously transfer them to whatever teams. Eventually I'll make a squad file uh, that's a bit more realistic with them at the at whatever clubs they were at when they were young in real life and stuff like that. But yeah, we can just put whoever we want uh, on whatever teams and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So you've got players like uh, Zidane, Pele, Cruyff, Ronaldinho, Xavi, Pirlo, uh, Nesta is here, Maldini, Beckham, obviously the added one, 
Lom, Drogba, Kaka, Skulls, Lineker, Giggs, Thierry Henry, Czech, even players like Patrick Vieira or Roberto Carlos, Poyal, Laudrup, even Rio Ferdinand's in here. So, so many players. Um, and yeah, you can transfer to them. And then one more thing while installing a squad file, when you start your career, you can, also, you can also play with them in kickoff. But when starting a new career, you have to click use current squads. If you select download latest, it will overwrite that squad file with the latest squads. If you select use initial squads, it will use a different squad file. So make sure you click use current squads. You can do a manager career, player career, tournament, kickoff, anything. They have their real stats. Uh, the real appearance, the real height, weight, skill moves, everything that they would have in Ultimate Team they have right here. And this is great if you want to do a little fun career with icons or even, you know, play with them before you buy them in Ultimate Team or something like that. And then, yeah, we can see them in Edit Player or anything like that. As you can see, Thierry Henry doing his thing right here. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Again, uh, if you're, this is your first video uh, you're watching about FIFA mods or something like that, I also make a mod called the Realism Mod, which adds hundreds of faces, kits, licenses, Juventus, Roma, etc. Adds realistic tattoos, uh, fixes a lot of the career mode bugs, and adds new features, um, you know, like realistic scouting and realistic transfers and player values and training and all that stuff with a bunch of other really cool things like a regen faces add-on, referee faces, manager faces, tons more of graphics, as well as add-ons like fantasy kits, stuff like that. Um, so I will link in the description and in the card, a little teaser if you wanna watch what it's all about. But if you wanna help support what I do, you can become a Patreon today, patreon.com slash realismod, link is in the description. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, mid uh, and Prime Icon Squad Files coming very, very soon. Uh, if you want a, a brand new wallet uh, for you or a loved one for Christmas, again, uh, I highly recommend you get one. I used it today uh, and uh, it worked perfectly. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time, think I need a rewind, feeling out of life I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you